What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way basketball analysis coming to y'all with that instant analysis on the Dallas Mavericks losing to the Milwaukee Bucks 105 104 in the competitive back and forth battle to, of Will. Who wants it more? Who wants to play harder? Who's going to play harder? We're going to talk about the Dallas Mavericks first. Dorian Finney Smith, five points, negative zero. And plus, I mean, zero and plus minus one personal foul, two blocks, three steal, one assist, eight rebounds. It's a solid game when it comes to doing the other things that help you win games. He didn't shoot the ball particularly well or two from the free throw line, one of five from three, two or six from the field. But he did defend well. He did rebound well and he did, you know, stay active um, tonight. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., eight points, plus two and plus minus, one turnover, one steal, four rebounds, over three from the three-point line, uh, two or seven from the three-point line, over three from the free throw line, three or nine from the field. It's a good game from him. You expect more from him, but he didn't deliver on that promise tonight. Dwight Powell, nine points, negative two and plus minus four. Personal fouls, one turnover, one block, one steal, three rebounds, one or three from the free throw line, four or five from the field. You just want him to protect the rim better and rebound better. He couldn't do that tonight because the field goals was pretty high uh, from both teams, but they didn't rebound as well as Luka did on the team. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, 15 points, plus one and plus minus, four personal fouls, three turnovers, one block, one steal, four assists, four rebounds, three or four from the free throw line, two or six from the three-point line, five or 13 from the field. He was looking for a shot, just didn't make the greatest percentage of them, even though he shot a decent percentage. You just want to see him facilitate playmaking, not down his threes better. He didn't shoot terrible from three neither, but you would just suspect this from Spencer Dinwiddie. He's been pretty consistent with these type of performances. I don't really know what else you want him to do. Uh, honestly, 33 points from Luka Doncic, plus six and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, two assists, 11 assists, I mean, two steals, 11 assists, six rebounds. He facilitated, he found guys, he was looking for them all night and looking for a shot. He really was trying to win this game. You can see the emotion on his face when they lost. He really felt like they should have been able to win it. They was up by seven, went on a 7-0 run. It looked like they was going to run away with it. The crowd was going crazy. They was feeling the energy from the crowd. They was playing hard. They were scrapping, but they just couldn't score enough points to get this one home. 4 of 10 from the free throw line, 3 of 11 from the three-point line. He shot way too many threes and took some tough ones that was basically just giveaways. And they was late in the shot clock because they dribbled it out and couldn't find good offensive possessions. Not a good look for the, the Dallas Mavericks and Jason Kidd as a coach. They got to find easier buckets for Luka, but not only for Luka, for his teammates. 13 for 28 from the field. He shot the ball efficiently, but not as efficient as he could have tonight. And that was because of the hoises that he took late in the shot clock. Got to get better offense and better value possessions from the Dallas Mavericks like they've done throughout the season. Maxi Kleba, eight points, plus one and plus minus, three personal fouls, one turnover, two blocks, one assist, two rebounds, two or four from the three-point line, three or five from the field. Christian Wood, 14 points, plus two and plus minus, four personal fouls, two turnovers, two assists, nine rebounds, so 14 and nine for Christian Wood. Just a solid game off the bench. Can really rebound the ball well. Can score in the paint. Can hit a mid-range. He even hit two or five from three. Six or 14 from the field. But you want to see him get to the free throw line, too. He rolls hard to the basket. You want to see him be able to post and hit the little hook shots and hit the little floaters, but also be more physical in that paint than he's been during this season. Five points for Reggie Bullock. Negative three and plus minus one personal foul, one assist, five rebounds, one or two from the three-point line, two or three from the field. Josh Green, eight points, negative 12 and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, one assist, two rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, three or five from the field. Just a great game from him off the bench. Davis, Breton, JaVale, McGee, Kimball, Walker, Frank, Neela, and, T and Pinson all did not play. They shot 46% from the field, 32% from three as a team. 41% from the free throw line. They had 43 rebounds, 21 assists, 8 steals, 6 blocks, 10 turnovers, and 21 personal fouls. Way too many fouls tonight from the Dallas Mavericks. When you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, 
Giannis and Tentacupo, 28 points, negative two and plus minus six personal fouls. He fouled out this game, but they still won. He also has seven turnovers, which is a way too much for uh, Giannis. He usually don't have that many. One steal, three assists, 10 rebounds. So he had 20 and 10 tonight, seven and 10 from the free throw line, one and one from three, 10 and 20 from the field, shot 50% from the field. This is an excellent game from Giannis, dominating the paint, not down his one, three, Got to the free throw line and shot great from the free throw line for his standards and rebounded the ball well. Even got four offensive um, rebounds, 19 points from Chris Middleton, plus six and plus minus. Two personal fouls, one turnover, one block, one steal, five assists, three rebounds, five of six from the free throw line, two of eight from three, six of 17 from the field. You would just like him to shoot better from three. I know he can. I know he will shoot better from the three-point line. It just takes time to get back into the form that he was um, last season, which was all-star form. Um, Brooke Lopez, four points, negative six and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, three blocks, six rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, or one from three, one or four from the field. Drew Holiday, 17 points, negative five and plus minus, three personal fouls, two turnovers, six assists, seven rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, three or five from the free, six or 13 from the field. This is a dual it all performance from Drew Holiday, the rebounds, the assists, the defense, the but the getting an ability not to turn the ball over too much is pretty good for Drew Holiday. Grayson Allen, 12 points, negative 13 and plus minus one personal foul, two steals, five assists, I mean five rebounds, two. He had five assists, five rebounds, three or three from the free throw line, one or five from three, four of eight from the field. Shot the ball particularly well from the field, not from three. You just expect him to give you more floor spacing from the field and from the three. But he did rebound well, he did get a good assist, and he did get a good amount of points, which you expect more from Grayson Allen, just more from three. Bobby Portis, 10 points, negative, I mean, plus one and plus minus, three personal foul, one turnover, eight rebounds. He continues to rebound the ball well, coming off the bench. 0-2 from the three-point line, 5-11 from the field. George Hill, six points, plus nine and plus minus, um, one turnover, four assists, three rebounds, 2-3 from the three-point line, 2-3 from the field. Javon Carter came off the bench, two points, negative four, plus minus, two turnovers, one steal, two assists, two rebounds, zero free throws, zero threes, one or two from the field. Pat Connaughton, eight points, plus nine, and plus minus, four personal fouls, two assists, seven rebounds, two or seven from the three point line, three or nine from the field. Serge Ibaka, then Asik, Jordan, AJ Green, and Marjan Bochamp did not play tonight. Coach's decision even though they was healthy, 43% from the field as a team, 34% from three, 82% from the free throw line. They also had 51 total rebounds. They really were game rebounding tonight. 27 assists, five steals, four blocks, 15 turnovers, and 21 personal fouls, and 106 points. They really took their time offensively in the fourth quarter, found good quality shots, and really made the Dallas Mavericks rush and take shots that they really didn't want to take. And even Luka got the good defense put on them by Drew Holiday and those guys got up in them, made them pick up his dribble, forced the timeout, and then he had to take a bad shot with 2.4 seconds left on the shot clock, meaning that he had to rush and take a quick shot that he didn't normally want to take. By the Bucks got everything that they wanted down the stretch, even though they didn't play the perfect game, especially Giannis fouling out and having turnovers. They went to Middleton for a bucket. He delivered, as he usually does, showing that he can still be clutch in a mid-range, and they also allow themselves to be smart enough to know it's about winning the game at the end of the day, not about doing it stylistically, not about showboating, not about doing it the tough way. It's about can you win the game that's at hand, and they was able to do that tonight, and I'm proud of the Bucks for doing that. They stayed together. They stayed and battled through adversity even when they were down by seven. They, they kept their heads up. They kept battling. They kept fighting. And they had made a comeback in that third quarter and let them know, yeah, y'all excited. Yeah, y'all happy. Yeah, y'all got the crowd on y'all side. Everything, including momentum, is on y'all side. But we'll be fine. We'll be dandy. We'll be good. We All we have to do is just stay together, defend well, value each possession, take our time, and get the offense and the points and the shots that we need. 
and in the bunches and we'll be good because our defense is going to be able to outweigh your offense. Your threes is going to eventually stop falling. And when they stop falling, that's when we'll make our run by taking our time and valuing each possession. And that's how they won this game. The, the Dallas Mavericks kept taking forced threes and tough threes while the Bucks got good quality offense. And that was the difference in this game. And that's all that really mattered because the Milwaukee Bucks won. Other than that, like the video. Continue to like and subscribe. Liking and subscribing helps the channel grow. This is a free content channel. Also, like on Facebook. That Facebook will be in my in the description. Check out my Anchor FM in the comments in the description below. Also, check out my social media. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All if you click my channel, if you click my channel on the banner, you can see my social. You can follow me on every social, and I help this channel grow. It also allow you to get to know me outside of YouTube if you want to. It's your choice. Other than that. Quinn Wade basketball announcer to sign out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the day. Hope you guys embracing the weekend. Quinn Wade basketball announcer to sign out.